The milk frog is a carnivorous frog that is native to the rainforests of Central and South America. Unlike many frogs, the milk frog does not eat insects or other small animals. Instead, it eats other frogs. Since milk frogs have a diet that consists primarily of other frogs, which means they will not be satisfied with drinking milk. The Amazon milk frog is a large rainforest frog that is named for the poisonous, milky fluid it secretes when stressed. It is also known as the blue milk frog for the striking blue coloring of its mouth and feet. Its other name is the Mission Golden-Eyed Tree Frog for the black cross shape within its golden eyes. Popularity These are large frogs with well-developed toe pads that assist them in climbing various trees with great ease. In recent years, this species has gained popularity in the pet trade world. These frogs make for great pets. They should, however, be maintained and handled with great caution as their skin is highly sensitive and they can easily get hurt. Besides this, these nocturnal frogs are quite entertaining to look at. Their population is stable and has been listed as least concern by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. However, factors like deforestation and clear-cutting of rainforest canopy have contributed to their habitat loss and a decline in population. The Amazon milk frog is an interesting creature to learn about. Keep watching to find out more fascinating facts about this animal. The Amazon milk frog is a relatively large frog, reaching a length of 6 to 10 centimeters. Mature females are larger than males. Adult frogs are pale blue-gray in color with black or brown bands. The frog's mouth and toes are blue. The eyes are golden with distinctive black crosses. Juvenile Amazon milk frogs are more deeply colored than adults. As the frog ages, its skin becomes bumpy and speckled. Habitat and distribution. The milk frog lives in the rainforest canopy, usually near slow-moving water. The frogs stay in the trees, rarely descending to the forest floor. They live in northern South America and are widely distributed in the countries of Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, Guyana, and Peru. They also occur in Venezuela, Trinidad, Tobago, and other islands off the South American coast. Diet Amazon milk frogs are nocturnal carnivores. They primarily feed on insects, spiders, invertebrates, and other small amphibians and small arthropods, but will take any prey small enough to fit in their mouths. Adult females in captivity have been known to eat the smaller males. Tadpoles eat eggs of their own species. The milk, produced by disturbed frogs, is gluey, smelly, and poisonous. While tadpoles may be eaten by a variety of predators, including other frogs, the adults face few threats. Milk frogs don't use their tongue to catch prey like other frog species do, but instead ambush prey and use their front limbs to shove the prey into their mouth. Frogs will actually use their eyes in order to swallow their prey. Frog saliva is very thick, and while it aids in keeping prey items in their mouth, it also makes swallowing more difficult. So, in order to swallow, frogs will push their eyeballs into their mouth cavity and push down on the prey against the tongue. This will increase the pressure inside the mouth liquefying that super thick saliva, which releases the prey from the tongue and forces that prey down the throat. Adults shed their skin about once a week. They use their legs to peel off the old layer and then eat it. Behavior and Life Cycle because they are mainly an arboreal, tree-dwelling species, it is very rare that you would see a milk frog on the forest floor. In fact, the only time a milk frog would come down from the trees is during breeding season. Breeding season occurs during the rainy seasons of November through May. The male is responsible for finding a suitable area to lay the eggs, whether that is in a water-filled tree cavity or other source of water. The male will call to females to come and lay their eggs in the water. The female lays 2,000 eggs in a gelatinous mass, which the male will then fertilize. Once the eggs are fertilized, a male may call for another female to lay a mass of eggs next to the fertilized eggs. 
He will leave these eggs unfertilized so that they do not hatch and can provide food for the newly born tadpoles. This is the end of parent care, though both parents may remain near the vicinity of the hatching site. Eggs will hatch within one day, and once the tadpoles hatch they must find their own food source and are left to fend for themselves. It takes about three to five weeks for tadpoles to metamorphose into froglets. At this point, the frogs will leave their natal area to find a territory of their own. They reach sexual maturity at one year, reproduction and offspring. The frogs mate during the rainy season, which may occur anywhere between May and November. Males call loudly to attract mates. The males wrestle for breeding rights, with the victor piggyback riding, and plexus, the female to water collected in a depression in a tree. The female lays up to 2,500 eggs, which the male then fertilizes. The eggs hatch within 24 hours. Initially, the gray tadpoles feed on detritus in the water. While the female plays no further parenting role after laying eggs, males may bring another female back to the initial nest site to lay eggs. He does not fertilize these eggs. The tadpoles live on unhatched eggs until they can leave the water and hunt on their own. The metamorphosis from tadpoles into coin-sized froglets takes about two months. The life expectancy of wild Amazon milk frogs is unknown, but they typically live around eight years in captivity. Conservation status. The International Union for Conservation of Nature categorizes the Amazon milk frog conservation status as least concern. The number of wild frogs and their population trend is unknown. The species is protected in Sierra de la Neblina National Park in Venezuela and Park National Yasuni in Ecuador. Threats As an arboreal species, Amazon milk frogs are threatened by deforestation, logging, and clear-cutting for agriculture and human settlement. Frogs may be captured for the pet trade, but the species breeds in captivity, so this practice probably poses no significant threat. Amazon milks frogs and humans. Amazon milk frogs breed well in captivity and are easy to keep, providing their temperature and humidity requirements can be met. When kept as a pet, care should be taken to minimize handling the frog. Captive frogs rarely secrete toxic milk, but their skin readily absorbs potentially harmful chemicals that may be on a person's hands. How Amazonian milk frogs can provide a unique perspective on the decline in wildlife populations. The Amazonian milk frog is a species that has been in decline for the last decade. It is currently classified as critically endangered, and it's one of the most threatened vertebrate species on Earth. The milk frog population has been declining due to habitat loss, pollution, and climate change. The frogs are also at risk from invasive species, like the cane toad, which can be poisonous to other animals and humans if consumed. This video provides an overview of why milk frogs are in such danger of extinction, what's being done to help save them, and what we can do as individuals to help conserve this beautiful creature. A recent survey of the Amazonian milk frog population found that the population had collapsed in many areas. Experts fear that if nothing is done to preserve this, Latin America will lose one of its most unique and ecologically important species. That's all for now, folks. See you next time.